Hello friends, I want to share with you today how I clean my outside windows. Now I have sprinklers that have made, maybe you can see that there, the tie, the brick white from mineral deposits. Now when I bought the house the sprinklers were all hitting the house and I've made drip irrigation so they don't hit the house but you can see the white color on the bricks and that also extended to the windows. So you can see the white comes all the way up and I had white on my windows both upper and lower and the, it was quite bad and I had been hiring somebody to come do my windows. You can see, hopefully you can see, there's a, they're very very dusty. Um, let me. So um, I live next to a dirt field and the field blows the dirt and it gets on my windows and you can see it's very dirty. And I wash my windows every year and um, sometimes twice, depending on the rain. And um, I make sure that the sprinklers do not hit the windows because it took me a couple of years to get the um, lime and stuff off the windows. Um, but this is the product that I have used. And it will take the, the lime off of the brick as well, but I don't want to screw up that. I did get it, uh, the mineral all off the garage door, and you can see my video about that. Um, it's teak oil, garage door, or something like that. You can look my video up, and you can look on my YouTube channel, uh, my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. And on my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude. But this product, I have used their products for almost 30 years. My oldest daughter was two-ish when I started using this because I used one of their products for teething. Um, this company has, it's called EcoSense, this product. It used to be called Melaleuca. And if you look down here, it still is called Melaleuca. But you, the Idaho Falls number to order 1-800-282-3000 or melaleuca.com. So I've used their products for many, many years. This is the one product and the main tea tree oil that I still use after all those years. And I ran out of this and I was so sad that I bought, <laughs> when I realized my mom was still a distributor years ago, I bought a case of them. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottles still <laughs> over there. Plus this one's pretty full because it gets in the shower. It takes off lime in the shower and it takes off lime in the toilet and it takes lime off of windows and brick and other things. So um, if you have lime on your windows, this is the product for you. So what I do typically is I'll spray the window with the product. So you can see there's kind of stuff. So I, w I spray it with the product and then I take just water. It's just clean water and I usually make it hot water if I can. And I get the sponge all out, sorry, as much as I can. And then I take the sponge with the product on it and I wipe it all along the window. And then I let it sit for a few minutes. <laughs> Depending on how much lime is on there, um, I let it sit for quite a while, but I want to make sure that the product gets all over the window. Now, if these were super limey, I would leave it on there for longer, but since I do this every year, um, and I've been doing it for years, and now the sprinklers don't hit the house, um, I don't have to leave it on for as long. So, I just take that soapy product, and it does have a unique smell, this product, because um, it has the oil in it, the tea tree oil in it. Mel Melaleuca is the um, proper name for tea tree oil. So this product has tea tree oil in it and it works great on this lime and buildup. So I wash the windows like that, let it sit for a little while, but because there's not a lot of lime left on these windows, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I rinse it. So I rinse the sponge in the water and get it clean and then I, let me step up a little bit. And then I kind of rinse it with the clean water. And depending on how much lime and how much product you've used, you can see this product is expanding. It's like concentrated, because look at all that. Still, um, so I rinse it a few times, trying to get as much of the product off as I can after I've let it sit for a while. And like I said, um, I don't have a lot of lime on the windows now. So I'm just showing you how I do it. 
okay and it's getting soapy in there. You can see I only did like three sprays of the product and all those bubbles are from that because it was clean before you saw there was no bubbles in there. So I get it dry and I rinse it one more time and the bubbles get smaller and smaller and smaller and less soap and less soap. So I'm rinsing it and then I start to do the squeaky part. And some of my paper towel got in there, that's not good. But, so I've got paper towel sho shoved in my sweatshirt because it always falls in the water every year. So I wipe it like that with the clean one and then I squeeze it. Now look how clean that is. If you can see from the side, there is nothing on there at all. It's super, super clean. And then I do that with each swipe. So I rinse it and then I squeegee it. And in between each squeegee, I use a dry paper towel and dry along the squeegee. So I've used the squeegee and then um, I dry the squeegee so it's dry for the next swipe. And then you can see around the edges a little bit, there's um, a little drippage so I just take a dry paper towel and, and run it right across the top because there always is a little drippage across the top and sometimes you can't get the squeegee right to the edges and so as I squeegee it um, to the edges I always run the paper towel across the top and down the edges once I'm done just to pick up any drips that have not come off and um, hopefully let me back up a little bit you can see how clean that, that window is I just did that one and it's really quick. After the first year, uh, getting all the major lime off, unless your sprinklers are hitting the spring every year, then you will have to let it soak for a little bit more each year, but it it just takes it right off and, it, and they're super, super clean and it takes me like three, four minutes a window because I don't have to, and look how dirty those ones are over there if you can see, they're super dirty. But it just comes off of this product is wonderful. So if you're doing shower stalls that have lime filled up, my garage door, I use this product. My windows, I could use it on the brick, but I don't want to waste it on the brick. I don't care that much about the brick. So I'm not going to do that. But anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will post the uh, na name and number of the company on my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and just type in window washing, and up will come the post about this. Thank you so much for watching, and I um, check out my channel. I have all sorts of tips and things. There's lots and lots of it, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. So um, tips and dehydration videos and all sorts of things. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a very blessed day.